If you've wondered how to interest students who, for whom language is not strong or who perhaps do not speak English as their first language, into words that interest them, give them fun, adventures, and teach them at the same time, then these materials are for you because students play with new words to master meanings in new ways that win good grades. They'll find and identify their own words. They'll gain friendships along the way as they work in teams. And they'll even find words that open new ideas for their careers. You'll find in these materials a table of contents to allow you to navigate among the materials should you use them in different forms than I have used them here, perhaps at different times than I have used them here. But you'll see from the table of contents that there are multiple ways that you can use these materials to allow students to come at new words through their own strengths or their own intelligences, which perhaps is not a linguistic intelligence, but maybe is one of the additional seven intelligences all of which are explained and shown examples of in these materials so that students will begin to move past the barriers that hold them back in reading, speaking, and writing. You'll find ways to build rubrics that students have input into so that they align with the directions they use to create the projects that they're going to create, such as a word wall, for example in these materials. Students will locate their own unfamiliar words, therefore differentiating these materials. They'll create things like a word wall, map words, they'll mime words, they'll put titles on images, they'll play games, and even more importantly, they'll create games and tasks. They'll defend words and learn to defend the opposite of that words, all expressing their ideas in multiple intelligence tasks. There are many opportunities for students to explore new words with their unique intelligence mix. They'll locate their own unfamiliar words before they create tasks or games with one of their seven additional intelligences so that they learn the words other than their, using their weaker intelligence, perhaps, in, in this area. There are complete guides to show how and complete examples to show each of the intelligences built into tasks that perhaps can celebrate and highlight the words that students choose. There are additional materials here that you find access to. And I would invite you to please do contact me. Leave a brief positive review if you find these materials helpful, but do contact me if there are any other ways the materials could address your needs, and I'll be honored to help you in any ways possible. To leave a comment or question, hit on Ask a Question to the right of the rating tab on my TPT site. It's called Ellen Weber, brain-based tasks for upper grades. I hope these materials and all the new words they'll usher into your class bring you and your students the support you deserve. The best. Enjoy.